Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of July for 2020. All links will be down below for the wallpaper, as well as each app mentioned in the video. Don't forget to subscribe, that would definitely help me out as we just reached 40,000 subscribers, but without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. The first top app is called Zone Launcher. This is a really nice launcher that sits on top of your standard home screen or just overall on your device on the sidebar. And you can go ahead and add apps that you wanna quickly access, or you can add shortcuts. You can also set the trigger, change the size of the trigger and which side of the phone it's on. I personally like it on the right side in the middle. And then you can change all the appearance, the sizing, colors, all that stuff. But all you do is you swipe down and in from the side and you can go ahead and quickly hover over one of the icons in order to quickly open the app of choice. This is great for switching between your most common apps because it saves me from going back to the home screen and then trying to search for the other app that I wanna open, I can quickly just go ahead and use this launcher. And if you didn't add all the apps that you want inside of this shortcut list, you can go ahead and swipe down the side to get an alphabet and you can go ahead and find any app on your device. Really, really simple. The next app on the list is called Big File Cleaner. This one I found really handy because my device was filling up with a bunch of junk that I didn't want anymore. And so this app really does help categorize and sort all the junk. You can go ahead and sort by simply video types or you can sort by directory and it will show you the largest one at the top. Obviously you can change your sorting order, but whenever looking within a folder or anything, pretty much as standard it will be at the top is the largest video. And if you don't want that video, you can go ahead and select it or bulk select multiple videos and you can go ahead and delete them. You can even categorize things by the extension. So MP4, JPEG, PNG, which makes things super handy in case you don't want certain file types on your device. But overall, this is great for clearing out your video and photo files on your device. Definitely go check it out if you wanna clear up some space. The next app on the list is called Axis. This is a great wallpaper app, probably one of my favorites that I found in quite a few months actually. On the home screen, you do have the walls of the day and you can swipe through those and quickly apply them, or you can go into the Explore tab and see a bunch more. There's tons of really nice ones. I'm pretty much a fan of 95% of these wallpapers. They have new ones as well as popular, and swiping up allows you to simply set it as your home screen, lock screen, or even download it. You also have a favorite section. I've added quite a few into here that I found and they're pretty beautiful, not gonna lie. You definitely wanna check this out if you like beautiful wallpapers. Fourth app on the list is iOS 14 for KWGT. So you've probably seen that there's these new iOS widgets and now you can download this pack in case you wanna get them on your Android device. There is a weather one, a couple of calendar ones, as well as a bigger weather one and a battery widget. Simply go ahead and select KWGT to apply it to your home screen. Once you've done that, you can simply go ahead and select the widget pack and then apply the widget that you want to your home screen. And it really does look like the actual iOS widget, which is super cool. It's not yet in the Play Store, but do check the description for an update. However, there will be a link to the APK file. The next app up is called Smash. This is definitely the most simple file transfer app that I've ever come across. And it's basically just one button when you open it you select it, select the file that you wanna share, and then it will go ahead and give you a link. With that link, you can simply share it to your friends or another device and paste it in your browser and you can go ahead and download all the files just like that without any need to download another app on another device. Super simple, an excellent file transfer app, and it's pretty much a must have until Android comes up with a version of AirDrop. Next up is Mojo. This one has some great templates for Instagram stories or even Snapchat stories. And you can go ahead and add your own pictures. It adds this cool animation with some cool graphics. And overall, it looks really nice. There's a bunch of categories which you can choose from. I really am a big fan of the photography one. And you can go ahead and add text on top as well. I just made this one quickly. But this has a few of my favorite photos that I've taken. I've added that text in the middle, just sort of transitions and it looks pretty nice, and you can obviously share it to your Instagram story. You can change the background color, your font, font size, your alignment, and your duration time as well. So there's a few options, and I think it looks really, really nice. Up next is Photoshop Camera. This one's quite cool if you're sort of artsy and you like that sort of abstract look in your pictures. There's a ton of different filters, and you can even share filters for the global community. But you can simply go ahead and select your filter, swipe between a selection of different ones, 
and it adds this really cool sort of background effect and you can't really get this anywhere else. It does work pretty good and it gives you this very cool abstract look to your pictures. You can go into this lens library and see a bunch of other lenses made by other people and you can go ahead and choose those and add them to your own set. But it's really nice, you can see them live. And once you've taken them, they go into the studio editor where you can further edit them. There are some options to change the exposure, contrast, your saturation, your hue, even the white balance. There's a bunch of different options to change. And it's definitely for a certain type of person, that sort of artsy person who wants to make things look a little bit different to the standard photo. But nonetheless, I think it's a great app. Up next is Battery Guru. This one helps keep track of your battery level and your temperature on your device. Right at the top there, it shows you how optimized your device is. It shows you your temperature of your device, the amount of power your device is decharging by, how much percentage per hour you're decharging by. You can go ahead and click the top button here. It does this little animation and it will actually go ahead and optimize your device. In the settings, you can choose a limit for the minimum or maximum temperature your device reaches. You can even set a charging limit so it won't charge over a certain capacity. And you can set a minimum percentage which your device reaches before shutting off. And overall, it just helps keep track of my battery health. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely check it out. Second last on the list is Folder Note. This is a super minimal notes app. It's got a favorite category here where you can add shopping lists or even just bullet point notes, which you can tick off. You can lock them with fingerprint or password. You can go ahead and obviously customize them, add as many things as you want. You can go ahead and change the size of the font, search through your list. There's a folder list section so you can create a folder with lists inside of the folder, which is really neat. And overall, it helps me keep track of the things that I need to keep on top of and the things that I really do need to do. But inside each reminder, you can also add further subtopics, which you can then tick off as well. So this is handy if you're working a small step at a time to complete a bigger project. And the app is very, very simple. You can add to-do lists and also shopping lists as well, which I do find quite handy. But simply by clicking this plus at the bottom, you can add a folder, checklist, or an individual note. And last up on the list is called Boom. This is a great app which enhances your audio from various media playback apps. It works with quite a lot of apps native on your phone. It even works with Google Drive and Google Drive's MP3 and media files, but you can choose for a radio, Tidal, or my favorite one is just using it through Spotify. One thing I'm not a big fan of is it does replace the Spotify interface to actually get the noise enhancement. Simply by clicking on this icon, it brings up your menu to change your sound. You can obviously enable and disable the boom effect. You have 3D sound, you have 3D speaker options, as well as a bass boost option. And you can go into the equalizer and actually change your music genre and it will sort of enhance it better depending on what you're listening to. And at the bottom, you can change your intensity. But it does actually make the audio sound a lot better to me. You can even make custom equalizers or even just edit a preset. And by clicking on 3D speakers, you can choose which speakers are on or off, which are surrounding you when you're wearing your headphones. So if something in the front left is kind of bothering you or it doesn't sound right, you can go ahead and disable that. Other than that, it's a pretty clean interface and allows you to use Spotify just as usual. You can add to your playlist, add to your library, you can shuffle, skip through songs. And if it doesn't bother you that you're not using the official Spotify app, then I think it is really great if you just want to enhance your audio. There's a few options in the settings. It asks you which headphone you're listening through. So obviously you can choose Bluetooth or over ear and you can choose your streaming quality, and there's various other options. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it. That's my top apps for July. I really hope you enjoyed. Definitely subscribe, leave your comments down below, and thank you for watching, and peace out.